Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we have got another installment of This Week in EDM, a series I haven't done for a long time. We're gonna pick it up this week and we'll see what happens if it's gonna be a recurring segment. But the way it works is I just did a stream. Uh, today is Monday, June 13th, where we looked back at 20 songs that came out this past week in EDM. And now we're going to do the highlights of that and talk about how we thought of those songs collectively as a stream. I'll give my opinion a little bit, but uh, 20 songs that came out this week that I think were notable and we've categorized them in five different categories and uh, we will start from the bottom up from our least favorite song of the week to our top favorite song of the week as people were voting on the stream on what songs they liked and didn't like. So, number one in the only song in our trash category is sadly Numb by Marshmello and Khalid. Personally, I think this is his worst, uh, like, collaborated collaboration single where he's been in with someone like Selena Gomez or Bastille or Khalid again in the past. I think this is his worst commercial song that he's put out. Shockwave I thought was pretty bad, but Numb, this is, I think it's absolutely horrendous. I think it's Khalid's we weakest vocal performance in a long time and the production is just, it's not great. And so that's that. Moving into now the bad category, songs that aren't absolute trash, but I and we thought was bad. Uh, Just Us 2 by Steve Aoki and Taking Back Sunday. Weird track. Uh, Taking Back Sunday is like an alternative rock group and Steve Aoki is Steve Aoki. So the song really isn't EDM, but it's not really anything else either. It doesn't really know what it's trying to be. The vocals feel like okay and the production from Steve Aoki just feels bland. So it was just a very meh song. Up next, we have Low by Oliver Heldens, Chami, and Annabelle England. Uh, another kind of song that just didn't hit well. Uh, the, a lot of these artists, or specifically Chami and Oliver, had done stuff that I really appreciate in the past, and the house that they've produced is good, but this just isn't that at all. The mixing feels really poor on this. Uh, the vocals are probably the best part of it, but um, damn, that kick is just so loud in the mix on the drops, and I just... It was weird. It was just an odd song that I don't think worked well. Moving into the meh category, songs that uh, generally we thought were just kind of meh. Uh, Free by Big Gigantic and Elohim. A uh, very commercial friendly track. I'd say it's in the upper echelon of like a good commercial house or commercial friendly track. Um, but new album by Big Gigantic just came out. Uh, future something too. I can't remember exactly what the brighter future too. And so check that out if you want. Uh, the song I thought was just okay. Uh, the Pit by Fabian Mazur and Snouse uh, also came out a kind of general basic trap song. It's super fast at about two and a half minutes and uh, doesn't really offer a whole ton of creative stuff that we haven't heard before, but it's also like not like a bad song. It's just kind of, it's just, it's just there. It just kind of exists, uh, which is a lot of meh. And then up next, we've got uh, La Cita by Dioro featuring Ali Brooke. Uh, one of these songs that I personally don't relate to a whole ton. It's kind of Spanish house is the best way to put it. It's not reggaeton. It's just like house with a lot of Sp <laughs> just Spanish vocals in some extent. So it was a pretty average house track production wise and vocals. I really couldn't add a ton to it. I don't really know what they were saying for the most part. So. Uh, but moving into the good category, we've got uh, 14 songs that are at least good, so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good week. We've got Forever by Tasaki. Personally, I'm not the hugest fan of Tasaki, so this isn't great for me to talk about. I voted the song as bad. I did not think it was great, but uh, you guys seem to like it. His kind of creative hits and sounds from the Trap and Cementation, sure, for you guys, but uh, this one's not particularly for me. Up next, Wide Awake by Odessa featuring Charlie Houston. I did do a react to that song initially, and uh, off the bat, I didn't really like it. It felt like one of their weakest singles from Odessa, but uh, listening to it again from the stream I've and through the past, throughout the weekend, I've gained a greater appreciation for the track, and uh, now I actually quite like it quite a bit. So that's Wide Awake, upcoming album, The Last Goodbye, coming out by coming from Odessa in late July. So we move into Ghoul by Mr. Fiji Ouija. I'm a huge Fiji fan, but this one, similarly to Tasaki, uh, I didn't actually enjoy. Uh, it was very minimalistic production here from Fiji. It's a little more, leans a lot more into trap rather than like a garage style. And so it's very, uh, yeah, very interesting, a little more creepy than he's done anything in the past and wasn't particularly for me, another short song here. And so, but uh, generally as a, as a group, we voted good on that. And then Invisible by Pilot featuring Ezra Height. 
a uh, honestly great vocal performance from Ezra Height. I've heard nothing of them. There's they've got he's got two songs on Spotify or something like that. But uh, honestly, really like the vocal performance, and it's kind of just your basic good pilot. A nice synthwave track with a fun little guitar rift at the very end, and uh, not much more. Nothing else less though. So that's that. Uh, welcome to the club, uh, Pegboard Nerds and Stonebank. The I believe seventh release from the Nerds Nation label has Pegboard Nerds and Stonebank team up for something that doesn't happen very often. And uh, solid track. It seems like they a lot, had a lot of fun for it. It was a great introduction to the label, I think, track. And um, a, a lot going on. Uh, a lot of different sounds, a lot of different uh, motifs or different movements. But uh, it was a, a fun kind of put on and just kind of bop to track, I would say. Uh, and then Droids by Annex featuring Maxim MC. A very clean production track, production quality in my opinion uh very very unique uh it's very again minimalistic dnb and that second drop is is strange uh it feels like it's a build the entire time and then it doesn't actually build on anything and it's one that you need a couple listens to really appreciate it all uh also similarly to i i related it to karma fields where it's not one i would really listen to over and over again but one that i really appreciate as a song it, it felt like a, a concept song to me but uh, up next, Too Hard to Let Go by Hello World, uh, the newest instinct signing from Monster Cat. And uh, solid. It's kind of uh, melodic 8-bit is how someone said it in the comments, and I think that is probably the best way to put it. Um, yeah, fun. Nothing too going, nothing too crazy. The the synths were a little much, a little too intense, I would say, on the drops. Uh, but uh, it's some people really love that, some people don't. So that's, that's one to check out for sure, though. Uh, tired, Tony Romero. Tony Romero seems to not, uh, seems to always hit since his, uh, introspection album has come out. Um, yeah, solid track from Tony Romero here. Nothing going on too crazy. It's kind of a basic kind of funky house style from Tony Romero that, uh, had a little bit of new disco, it felt like in some areas, but, uh, just a kind of basic funk house from Tony Romero. So another solid track. Uh, Cold Man by Swarty, a new debut album compact objects by Swarty came out. If you don't know who Swarty is, you need to check him out. His secret sky set is where I was introduced to him. Incredible 33 minutes of just so much creativity and innovation and in music. And his style is a very unique, calm, like cinematic style that you just need to, you need to go listen to Swarty for sure. And uh, then at number five, our fifth top song of the week was Drive Away by Retrovision, or sorry, the, the Retrovision remix, originally by Cruella. Uh, I wasn't the hugest fan on this, but you guys in the comments seem to really enjoy this in chat. And so uh, it's another one of those just like really in your face. Um, a lot of emphasis on the drop sections, not so much on the non-off drop sections, but uh, kind of a, just a fun, loud, driven song. And uh, that is Drive Away. Uh, our last one in the good category is Space Magic by Eddie Squirm and Vos, Vois, Voicians? Voicians? Vosicians? I'm not sure how to say it exactly, but uh, another one of those kind of uh, Eddie and Vosicians, or however, uh, Voicians, uh, work really well together in terms of Eddie's production and then his vocals. And so uh, I've never really heard of Squirm before, but uh, this track was super fun. Nothing too insane out of this world, but just a really great, steady kind of, um, yeah, another kind of driven track uh i would say not as much as retrovision in a different way but uh moving into standout we've got a couple songs we've got three songs in the standout category for this week number one is monolithic reflections by basic a new ep just came out from basic on disciple and uh this track does a good job of mixing different movements of songs it's got this uh, like a banger D&B style and then kind of like a melodic 8-bit that we've talked about before. It's kind of, it does a weird in-between section where it feels a little off, but then it's like, oh no, actually this works really well. And it transitions really well in between the two sections of the song and uh, is, uh, is, is a banger. Uh, it's a pretty good track and uh, I need to go listen thoroughly through the rest of the EP. And at number two, second best song of the week in EDM is Grit by Boss Fight. Uh, the consensus for the song is it is a great song. People love the bass house boss fight, uh, not his best. So that's probably the consensus. Great song, but it's already in standout, but not his best uh, is what people have said. It's very intense, very in your face, uh, very 
all over the place in a, in a good way, in a good musical way. And our number one song of the week, Elixir by Direct and Cloud Nun. By my count, I believe the 19th time they worked together, Nectar being 20th. And uh, they just, they're doing really well. Another kind of general consensus to this is it's one of their best songs together, but not as good as Margarita. Kind of Margarita's the 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 peak, the number one thing that Direct and Cloud Nun has done. And then this, uh, these two songs, double-sided single, Elixir and Nectar have been right underneath. So that's the general consensus there. Uh, great song. It's like a, it's very energetic garage, uh, UK garage style track. Uh, reminds some people a little bit of uh, Drinks on Me to that extent, but uh, a little different, a little not as dark, a little bit more energetic. So uh, that was it. That was this week in EDM 20 songs. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these songs. Do you think they were actually bad? Do you think they were actually great? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, should Marshmallow have been in trash? Should Boss Fight have been in standout? Let me know in the comment section, comment section below. But with that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.